Alright guys, how y'all doing? Today we're going to be showing you how to replace a crankshaft position sensor in a 2001 Dodge Ram 1500. This is the 5.9 four-wheel drive automatic. Now, I've seen a couple other videos on YouTube, but they're third generation Dodge Rams and it's a little bit different um, and the video quality was kind of blurry. So I decided that I'd make a new video and post it up a little bit updated and showing you exactly where it is because I couldn't really understand exactly where they were pointing to in the video. This isn't the normal kind of videos I post on YouTube, but uh, like I said, I'm trying to help everybody out and not spend as much time as I had to on this project. Uh, trying to figure out exactly where it is is the hardest part. So just to give you an idea of where you are in the engine well, there's your fan shroud, your radiator hose running to your engine, uh, your throttle body, and then it's going to be located right behind your throttle body. Now to access this to get a little more uh, room, I'm just going to take off your airflow box and the tube that's running to the side of your engine. It's too, it's easiest. Just get a flathead screwdriver, uh, take that piece off right there, and then lift that up, and also just pop this right out. Um, so, I got my light so you can get as best picture as possible. Now it's gonna be located right behind all those hoses right there you see running to your spark plugs. Um, all I'm gonna do is stick my hand in here and reach down not even far this is literally how far I'm reaching down just right here that is your crankshaft position sensor now to take this bad boy off you're gonna put a flathead right here and you're going to kind of I don't know if I'll be able to do it with my hand this is the new one I just put in uh, so I don't really want to take it out too bad the other one's still bolted on down at the uh, the old one's still bolted on down at the bottom we're about to get to that here in a second but all you're gonna do is put a flathead in there you get the idea and then just pull it out that's not gonna take but a second um, I just need two hands to show you how to do it which I don't have right now because I'm videotaping with the other one so there you go there's the top end of the crankshaft position sensor now we're gonna get to the bottom end this is probably the harder one to find this one took me the longest to find just give me a second to get out of here real quick. Alrighty. Alright, so I'm on my passenger side. Just trying to give you a visual of where exactly I am. Then I'm going to go my passenger side front tire. I'm going to go inside this well right here. Now I'm going to stick my head up. into this little corner and I'm going to look right into there hold on let me get you a light all right that bolt I was telling you about is right there now I went ahead and unplugged it so I could see what size it was for the video purpose that wire you see running from it that tubing is going to be the old one right there to the left hand side of the screen and then in the see if I can get it in the middle of the screen right there that newer black hose that's the newer one that I'm about to bolt on here in a second but I really just wanted to show you exactly where both these pieces are to the crankshaft position sensor I'm gonna back up right now to show you exactly where I am this tube that's right in front of me this black piece right let's see if I can get it. this black piece right here this tube that's your transmission um, transmission dipstick tube right there so that's kind of in the blocking so you can kind of use that as a guide to where you exactly need to put your hands and go into I'm gonna back up as slow as I possibly can so I can show you exactly where I am okay that's the exhaust manifold right there on the side to give you another reference to shoot from again that's the dipstick tube and then I'm gonna back up It's all in there. It's my suspension, my tire, and then the side of my truck. Again, I'm on the passenger side under the uh, wheel well there. So I hope this tutorial helped, guys. That's the hardest part to this install is just knowing where those two pieces are. So if this video helps, send me a thumbs up, and y'all have a good rest of y'all's day. Thank you.